Here is your week four classifiers lesson. Classifier one, remember, represents something long and skinny like a pencil, a pole, a person walking upright, a person standing in a certain location, a one lane street, a tree, a branch on a tree, and a knife. CL2, or V, represents how a person's legs move. Walking, laying down on your side, tossing and turning, diving, and jumping. Classifier 3 represents a vehicle a car, a bike, a motorcycle, a ship, a submarine. Classifier B represents flat objects, shelves, or a wall, the road under a vehicle in this case. The L5, it represents large groups or a bunch of people. The people or animals, in this case, moving forward, moving away from me. Classifier C, flat. It represents handling um, or the location of a book, for example, indication of how thick it is. Store, discount, price, tires, flat, car. So the new classifier for this week is CLA. This represents buildings. You can see me setting, setting them up in space. The house over there. It can also be the handshake that's used for a trophy where you're given a trophy and being congratulated, as well as the shape of a statue. Classifier four represents rows. So you have stripes on your top, horizontal stripes on your t-shirt, or it could be used to describe your hair. It's also used frequently to mean people are in a lineup, in a queue for something. There could be rows on a surface like your garden is planted in rows. It can also reflect your eyelashes. So the eyelashes flutter. That's how a classifier four can be used. If you want more practice with classifiers, I recommend this website. It's an app, really, and it was developed here at the University of Alberta by an education faculty professor, Dr. Lynn McQuarrie. This is work that she's been doing to help students learn how to use ASL classifiers and handshapes.